Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. A big day today. We are running around to, we're gonna stop on a job site we've got going, big commercial stormwater project. And then followed by, uh, we're gonna go out and tour uh, job sites with Jeremy Swihart. They're doing a pool install today, which is very cool, their first one. Check out their tilt rotator. This might be over a few videos here. But we're gonna do that. Uh, interview and podcast with Riley Marvin of Alpha Landscapes Iowa. It's going to be an awesome uh, awesome day. <sighs> really looking forward to it. Right, Brett? Yeah, it's been a while since we've done this. So. Yeah, so here we go. We stopped by the guys site here. We did some uh, pond work here and crap load of ECM going down. These guys are getting we'll smooth that out, but uh, guys here having fun with the ECM for days, erosion control mat, straw blankets, whatever you want to call it. We throw down a seed mix over that. And uh, we had to dredge out those two four bays and um, load out directly into a truck. That worked out pretty well, lined with riprap. We were able to repurpose some, which is cool. And uh, looking good. ECM is horrible. That's why we brought everybody in for that today because it's sucky work, especially this much of it, but looking real good. In the rear with the gear, got everything on site here and uh, a lot of stuff running. This 313 rounded hoe, which is awesome, by the way. It's got the hydraulic quick couple. Don't have a thumb on it. Fortunately, don't need one on this, but uh, got a lot of reach, which we wanted to be able to reach over that pond. What do you think of this monster tilt rotator on here? That'd be scary. Yeah, it's too big for us. We don't need a 313. Um, that's a 13 ton uh, excavator. So we've got all our stuff lined up here. Service body is awesome. Lots of ECM waiting to go. So very cool. So here we are on site. This is cool, huh, Britt? Yeah, I'm so excited. So Crane just pulled up. Uh, we'll get, Britt's gonna be camera girl. I think I'm gonna have to work a little bit actually because they're shorthanded. One of their guys had to run home for an emergency. <laughs> so I'm gonna put on my work boots and get to it but pool sitting on a lot of 57 jeremy obviously has just dedicated a road they'll reclaim that and uh whatever crane truck is here how cool is that bunch of number eight stone here so looking good there the crane awesome this is gonna be fun here we go
I don't know that it. Yeah, we're kind of tight. Yeah. There ain't no way it's going that way. Okay. We'll go this way. Okay, we're going down. Well, are you good with this underneath here? Yeah. We got pretty good contact. Okay. What's the contact? Hey everybody, so that was really cool, pretty intense here. Um, over, it, it was only five minutes of coming around there, but it felt like an hour. That was wild. Um, I look like a total weenie, only guy with a hard hat and had gloves on. Uh, right now, so it's setting there, and they set this thing to like perfect grade. Right now they're checking to make sure it's level all the way around. Uh, they've just got to tweak a corner, I think, here, and... Uh, have this thing set right, but they set it all on his number eight stone, which actually none of that exists there. Oh, that's gonna be the pool house. That's dope. Um, by the way, Riley Marvin's here off the landscapes, Iowa. We're gonna have some talks with him here in a little bit, and that's gonna be awesome. Um, but other than that, pool company's out of here. Um, and that, that set the setting was actually really easy. These guys, you can see, they built forms here to screed out those eights just the way they needed to and wanted to and uh, gave them ample room to do what they, uh, you know, to get a bed for it. So uh, next it's gonna be, that's gonna be, I'm presuming for the sump pit to drain this thing out should it need it, keep it from bucking out of the ground. There's relief valves and all that kind of stuff. If you know anything about setting pools, say hey in the comments here. But, um, otherwise that was a, a pretty easy set, just kind of nerve wracking trying to, you know, watch them go over the house there. That was pretty cool, so. And that's Jeremy there checking what he needs. Feeling it out for inconsistencies, anything weird going on to be remedied. Crane's out of here, I think. Very cool. Anytime we spend a lot of time working out of town or we're really late on jobs or whatever, we try to schedule time, special time with the kids shortly after that. Yeah, to make up for it. And we explain that, too, of like, hey, we're working. I feel like we, we say this all the time, but at, uh, you know, just, just for uh, clarity's sake, we yeah, we, we do tell the kids, hey, we're working real late all week and you're going to spend a lot of time with Grandma and Grandpa or whatever. Um, but you know, this weekend or next Monday, Tuesday, we're taking those days off and we're going to go to the water park or we're going to do something to make up for some of this lost time. 